we would say that in all honesty, this is one of the missions on how those temples and pyramids were built. To this day, and I'm and 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 and, and, and quoting the late uh, Asa Hilliard, who just uh, made the transition, who was one of the pioneers in the whole chemotology or Egyptology field for black people. Um, one of his one of his things was is don't believe them. They don't bit more know how they built those pyramids to this day. They have had over a hundred theories. I've seen at least fifteen different theories that was put on shows since. Since the, since the late 80s. So they've had over 100 theories on how it is, and they don't bit more know how those pyramids are built. And that's a part of their superiority to make you think that they're superior when they try to explain things. You see what I'm saying? But it's impossible to get those types of stones and the different things and transport them down the Nile from barges on ships and different things like that. You see what I'm saying? So my point is they don't bit because it was a spiritual aspect of things. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into something in a few minutes. But <clears throat> what they would do is basically they would have certain entities that will come and help them manifest certain things. And let me give you an example. They had this powder that they dealt with alchemy. The Egyptians dealt with alchemy. And alchemy is the royal art of the ancient Egyptians. It is the study of not only stones, but also the study of the spiritual essence of man in every element in the universe and outside of the known universe. And so alchemy is the chief science of the ancient Camites or the ancient Egyptians. And there was one story where they would create this white powder. And when they went, so when the British went into to, went into Egypt, they went into the pyramids. They found this white powder, and all they knew is everything they put stuff on, it would float. If they put it on this, if they put if they put it on this couch, the couch would float. If they put it on you, you would float. So this is this is some kind of way how they built those actual pyramids. Um, and they caught they they, they caught it a whole ship of this stuff up. And took it back to England and didn't secure it, and all of it blew away but a saucer. And they got the saucer right now with this stuff in the British Museum. They don't know how to make it because they were not master teachers. You see what I'm saying? We're talking about people that were so advanced in technology till it was nothing for them, you see what I'm saying, to build pyramids and different things like that. Another thing is what we just found out. On, uh, let's see, on Valentine's Day, let's see, Valentine's Day, they had two movies came out. One is called The Spider Wick Chronicles, which is talking about the fairy realm that we'll get into. Another one is talk, uh, called Jumpers, a movie called Jumpers, where they would jump from different parts of the earth. And they had these particular ones, a guy that played Anakin Skywalker. He was playing in the actual movie. And so when was in the lecture... I did a lecture at the Moore Science Temple in Chicago. One brother asked a question, and usually when some people ask questions, they're actually giving you answers. So the brother would ask a question, and he said, what were the pyramids actually built for? And so if you're in the right environment with the right people at the right time, you can break open dimensions where certain knowledge that was lost to the earth would be revealed to you. And immediately I said, oh, there were ancient airports. Now check it out. They said that they have, there was a guy named Bob Raya who, who wrote a book called Egyptian Magic. And later on, he, he's, he's one of the few people that actually successfully mummified a body since the ancient Egyptians. Um, Bob Raya um, did a, a thing where he went around the earth and showed that there was pyramids all over the planet. All over the planet. And basically, what what we realized what it was because that particular information, even the Native American mounds over here is pyramids. You see what I'm saying? We got a mounds right up the street here on Cascade at a White Park or something is a, is, a, is a mounds up there. So anyway, what we found out was that people could go to a pyramid or go in the pyramid or go near the pyramid and Based on a certain amount of frequency and energy and knowing what they could do, they could appear from, they could, they could, they could, uh, uh, they could uh, uh, go in one pyramid and chem it and appear, reappear in the pyramid in Mexico or the pyramids in South America 
all the pyramids in, in Asia. They got a pyramid under the, under, under the water in Japan. They got a pyramid in China. So we're finding out now that these particular things are ancient airports. Now, because our science don't bear witness to it, doesn't necessarily mean it's not real. And you must ask this particular question here. If the science is not bearing witness to it, it's because it's a conspiracy because they don't want the science to bear witness to it. See, in order to rule a people, you must think that you must tell the people that the technology that we have today is number one. You must tell them that this is that everything progressed up to this particular point. Whereas we know that technology has has, has risen and fallen several times on the actual planet. So that particular theory might be preposterous, but the day that I explained it, the movie Jumpers had just started the day before. We're waiting on that movie to come to um, come to uh, video. The, the, the actual, um, the critics shit it all over it. A lot of times when they give something a thumbs down, is because they want to hide a certain amount of information in a movie. So when they want you to get something, they'll say, okay, thumbs up. Because they want to they want to reiterate something to you. And a lot of times it's for exploitation. But sometimes when they want to hide something, they will tell you, no, this is this is a piece of garbage. 